I have to warn you, I am biased. I am a big advocate of weight shift steering in paramotors. I know many pilots who have switched to weight shift and they will never turn back. Yet there are many pilots who have actually never tried, so give me a chance to convince you. Welcome to my classroom, Insights into Paramotor Geometry. This is part three. We have more than 30 videos on the list. We'll cover every aspect of paramotor design and geometry. And by the end of all these, you will be able to find the best paramotor for you. Look clean pull. This is, this is what your paragliding instructor would tell you. This is how paragliding pilots core the thermals. That means look, it, look to the side where you want to turn, lean to that side, and then gradually pull the brake. Now with paramotors, it's pretty much the same. You could do it combining leg work and leaning over the bar. Leg work is just raise one leg, press the other one down, and leaning over the bar is just move your body over the bar, move your center of gravity closer to one side. I know today pilots are flying smaller gliders with 2D steering that are really agile and you could actually really skip the, the lean part and just pull the brake. But a turn using weight shift is way more efficient than a turn without. Uh, this means with weight shift you just have more turning authority, you have two steering inputs instead of one. Now the benefits, half brake is enough to achieve the same turn, or with the same brake input adding weight shift your turn is a lot more tight. Uh, I have summarized the benefits and disadvantages of weight shift steering. First, the turn is more efficient. Simply, you pull less brake, that means your, your glider is closer to the ideal profile and flies in the, uh, closer to the most efficient uh, way. Secondly, uh, turn is more fun. Uh, now, this is a bit tricky to explain. Uh, you need to try it for your own, but simply when you lean to the side and you feel the pressure in your body, it feels way better. It, it does, really. Turn is more safe, and this is really simple. If you pull less brake, you're further away from stall point or spinning the glider, simple as that you get more feedback from the glider. I mean, this is a two-way relationship. So if you give more steering input to the glider, you get more feedback from it. This means you feel the turbulence a lot better. You, you, feel, you feel better what's happening with your glider and gives you a chance to react earlier. Some pilots believe flying weight shift paramotors, uh, they are exposed to more turbulence. No, this is total bullshit, honestly. Turbulence is there. You fly into turbulence, it's there regardless what paramotor you're flying. The only difference is that with a weight shift paramotor, you get more feedback from the glider, so you feel the turbulence a bit more. This means the paramotor feels more nervous. So it's, there's not more turbulence, it just feels a bit more nervous. This is a personal preference. I myself, I like it sporty, some other pilots maybe not. There are arguments that uh, weight shift paramotors are more difficult to learn for beginners. I disagree on this point as well, simply because having more feedback from the glider during takeoff or in flight will make it easier for the, for the pilot to understand and to feel the glider and in the end student will learn more quickly. Weight shift paramotors are heavier. Yes, that's true. Uh, these bars, they need to be made of pretty solid material because this is where the whole setup with the pilot and engine and fuel tank is hooked onto. So the piece of metal adds some weight. Now the big question, do you need weight shift steering for your flying? You absolutely need it if you're an acro pilot or fly freestyle slalom or do thermaling because you just need the feedback from the glider you need to feel the glider perfectly for cross-country pilots it's not that much necessary you could be you could be pretty happy flying and uh, a high hooking uh, paramotor for cross-country but 
it doesn't hurt to have the weight shift. So if your flying styles overlap, so you do mostly cross country, but sometimes you do some freestyle and tight turns and have fun, then you definitely want the weight shift steering as well. And then weight shift, I believe, is a bit more comfortable, which we will cover in some of the next chapters. In the next video, uh, it will be a bit more technical. I want to compare all the suspension systems and explain how much weight shift authority you get and why. So stay tuned for the next chapter. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you soon.